In this video, I'll give an overview of some of the new procedures that are included in the latest Starbase curriculum for Creo 4.0. Starting with Creo 4.0, the Render tab has been replaced by the Photo tab. This is where you'll find the familiar controls such as background and the ways to change how the image appears. So to add a background, similar to Creo 3.0, you just click the background icon. It'll open a directory that has different images that you can select from. Choose one of the images and click open. And then you can close the scene editor. Just like before, you'll want to change the size or the uh, orientation of the model so that it appears correct. Next we'll add custom text. To do that we'll click on the annotate tab and we're going to want our text to be flat with the image, flat on the screen along with the image, so we'll set the annotation plane to the flat to screen setting. Then we'll click Unattach Note, and this text box will follow our cursor, so you can choose to set it anywhere, click to place it, and then you can type your name or whichever other custom text you want to include. I'll do PTC, and then you click outside the text box, and you can see the text box appears selected. This is the where you can change the font or the style, so I'll change mine to size 12, Change the color to green. I'll give it italics. Then when you're done styling it, you can click outside the text box again to save your changes. To make the model appear with realistic lighting and depth, return to the Photo tab and click Photo Realistic Image. And you can see it now has uh, depth perception and realistic lighting, shadows, reflection. We don't actually want reflection in this case since the surface of Mars is probably not very reflective. So I'll use the reflection off icon. You can do the same with the shadows if you needed to, but in this case I want the shadows. So now we have a photorealistic image of our model along with our custom text. The next step is to save this image as an image file. To do that, We'll go to the File menu, expand the Save As options, and choose Save a Copy. We're going to change the type of file from a Creo assembly to a PNG snapshot, which is going to be at the bottom of this list, second from the bottom. Select that, and we can give our snapshot a name. I'll call mine My Crawler Image. By default, your saved image will be stored in your working directory. You can change the destination, but if you don't change the destination, that's where you can find the saved image. I click OK. In the confirmation window, you just click Yes. To see your image file, you'll need to go to the folder and open it from that location. And you have a photorealistic image with custom text saved as a PNG file. Another new procedure with the latest version of Starbase Creo 4 curriculum is resetting your Creo session in order to do the next activity without having to close out of Creo altogether. You're going to want to reset the display options that you just made with the background and the photorealistic settings so that when you open up a new model, it doesn't automatically include those. In order to reset the display settings, return to the Starbase tab and click Reset Display. Now you can close out of the model. You can click Erase Not Displayed. And you're all set to do a new activity. <laughs>